Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to convert Linux into Windows XP, at least to make it look that way. So for this video, I am using Linux Mint along with Cinnamon, but you can use uh, whatever one you want to use. I'm using Mint because Cinnamon is generally the best one to theme. So to start off, you need to download everything and uh, you, you'll need to get the Git package. Now Git currently isn't installed on the system, but it can quickly be installed with Now what Git will do is Git will allow us to download stuff a lot faster. So the installation part for this theme is very time consuming. So I've created a little bit of a script. What it will do is it'll just execute all of the commands in the article one after the other automatically. So I'm not sitting here for 10 minutes, um, you know, entering individual commands. Once I get everything set up and built for the theme itself, we can go about how to apply them to the desktop. So the reason I chose uh, Cinnamon is because Cinnamon is easily the best desktop for theming. In the article, we go over some of the other good desktop environments to do this. But for Cinnamon, to set up the theme, first right click on the panel and click Themes. So from here, we need to worry about the window border as well as the icons, the controls, and the desktop. So let's start with the window borders and we'll set this to Vista. As you can see, this now looks like Windows Vista border windows. We need to go to icons and we need to look for the Vista icons. And now our icons look like Windows Vista. We need to look for the controls and look for Windows Vista once again. And we just set the desktop to Windows Vista. Now you might notice that this icon looks a bit weird. Um, <clears throat> If you click use custom icon and then just delete this here, that solves the problem. It'll load the theme in instead. And effectively, your desktop now looks like Windows Vista. It's not perfect, but Cinnamon does the best job of doing that. And again, uh, in the script, I ran the cat command so you can understand what I did here. I just ran it as a shell script so that all this could be done automatically, but if you need to get this, uh, get your desktop looking like Windows Vista, uh, for whatever reason, maybe you have a relative who's used to Vista, but Vista is end of life and you want to get them on Linux, this is a good way to go about it. Please check the description below and uh, you'll be able to get that going. I'll see you guys in the next video.